What's going on guys? Welcome back. Gigi here. Thank you so much for joining me for today, August 13th, Pick 3 Collective Reading. Let's see what Spirit has to say to you today. If you guys are interested in personal readings or if you are interested in any of the products and services I offer, the email is down below. Contact me, send me an email, let me know if you guys have any questions or you can check out my website or my Etsy, okay? Um, I am doing, like I said, personal readings. The only way that I will be able to schedule them is if you email me. So uh, check out the email down below if you have any questions about that. Um, if you guys are new, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you guys know when I upload more readings like this or other styles of readings or do lives. Um, this is a collective energy reading, so please take what um, means something, leave what doesn't, and uh, place yourself where you belong. Please and thank you, and remember that these messages are for spiritual practice and spiritual encouragement and just spiritual knowledge. So please take it for what it is, okay? Let's just get into it and get our prayers and get going, okay? Holy Spirit, please come down with your angels, my ancestors, loved ones, and spirit guides that have ascended to your highest white light to protect and guide me through this energy reading for our collective. Please allow me to channel clear, honest, and precise messages through you, Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Michael. Please protect us all as I channel this energy. Please cast all evil and darkness away and back to hell where it belongs. Please and thank you. I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, let's get the zodiac energy and see what's going on for you guys today. What is the zodiac energy for today's pick three spirit? What is the Zodiac energy for today's pick three? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What is the Zodiac energy? One more, please and thank you, Spirit. What is the Zodiac energy? Thank you, Spirit. Leo, underneath the moon, Cancer, and Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, um, this is my second time doing it like this. So I've already meditated and shuffled these. They are exactly where they need to be for me to pick the three. So one, two, three, and I'm being told to stop and leave them here because there may be something on the bottom for the end of the reading. So we'll let spirit guide us. We have the angel of love. We have Sephram Seraphisa, relax and open up to, store, to source, keep your heart open, and courtship. Well, we already see the angel of love is here. Relax and open up to source. Don't let past emotional damage keep you from your future love interest, okay, or your present love interest, or somebody that you have in your heart that you'd like to see be your your person okay open up to source pray meditate you know you're already starting to manifest it you're already starting to do it you have to keep your eyes open spirit wants you to look with your heart not with your eyes at this person look with your heart not your eyes keep your heart opened keep your mind opened keep your eyes open you may feel like you have rose colored glasses on they are not these are true, authentic feelings. These romantic feelings you feel for this person, these passionate feelings that you feel for this person, they are real. They, your soulmate may differ from your usual type. Very much so. Spirit is trying to shine the message into your mind by having you see the actions of this person and their purity and their love for you. They want the same thing you want. You want what they want. They want what you want. All of it is on the same page. It's just a balancing act of being able to get your heart, your mind, and your eyes to see this person for all they are. And if there's something that's lingering from the past, you should let it go. and blossom and learn to love with purity not revenge releasing down you know old damage that has happened surrendering it moving past it it's an important it's an important discovery that you need to see in front of you 
it's something that is is soul tying this kind of passion this kind of romantic feelings this is the stuff that stories are made of what are you going to write in this next chapter together is it going to be separation or is it going to be a twin flame union I guess only time will tell do we have more yes where are we going you want me to draw any more turn anything over which one the door to romance spirits opening it to you he's handing it to you he's showing you this person's pure heart and he really is by actions that are making you think and having second thoughts about things that you set and like boundaries that you set you're thinking about crossing those lines because you feel something in your heart listen to it listen to it it's for a reason your heart knows what you want your mind knows what you want spirit knows what your eye, you want your eyes not so much all they are seeing is in the the physical like it's all lust of the loins it's all like shallow stuff but your heart and your mind knows what you really truly want and spirit's trying to hand it to you he's opening that door he wants you to let your love out he wants you to open up your heart because the thing is is this person that's coming towards you is going to melt that heart of yours or it, the intentions are to melt that heart of yours and love you with every unconditional ounce of love they have for you they feel like if you are in separation from something that happened in the past that it's been too long they want the true reconciliation or if this is somebody that you have your eye on and you're interested in however you have too much emotional baggage and damage from before where you can't seem to let go of certain things and it's affecting you mind body and soul and you're just like fearing of lo losing this person spirit saying just open your mind open your mind let that person in give them the key it's sitting right there next to you just give it to them make those grand gestures offer those you know those pieces of those tokens of love offer them make those grand gestures when it comes to expressing your emotions and those romantic feelings this person's waiting for you to kiss them waiting for you to hold their hand and look at them and in the eyes and really see them if you wear glasses take them off and look this person dead in the eyes and express your feelings for them and then kiss them with everything you got tell them you missed them tell them you're sorry hug them and cry in their arms if you have to show them what you need to show them let them in it's God's way of trying to send you a healing blessing to heal all the cracks in your heart this person this person's love for you is true it's safe for you to love this person it's okay to let go of the past it's okay to let go of those heartbreaks from all the romantic feelings you've expressed this person can take it from you and she can build something from it and make it like what's that I saw this I think it might have been a TikTok or um, on Instagram somewhere where it's like if you give um, a woman groceries she'll give you a meal if you give her a house she'll make you a home those sorts of things that's exactly what this person will do and they know exactly what to do effortlessly because they are they were made for you this is your perfect pair this is your soulmate this is the person that will heal your heart just like you will heal parts of hers or vice versa take it how it is flush it swip it you know what to do look into your heart before it's too late before you miss an, an opportunity for the last time it may actually be a, a cycle a vicious cycle that may close because people are tired of the heartbreak tired of the the waiting tired of the games tired of the lies and deception passive aggressiveness the disloyalty all of it 
and it may be on both sides. But Spirit's saying just bend a little bit. Bend just a little bit and you'll be so, so surprised. So surprised. There are going to be feelings and you're going to have to figure out how to deal with them. And if you guys are not in a position to see each other, you know, every day, you're going to have to work around, you know, the distance and you're going to have to, or, you know, just the workload or whatever it is, whatever it is, you're going to have to learn how to work around it until somebody is able to make a change to unite it for good for good. Don't be afraid of loneliness and separation. Have trust and faith in yourself. And if you're not, you don't trust yourself enough to be faithful, well, then maybe it's smart for you to keep this person at a distance because if this person comes in, they're going to come in with full force and they're going to blow you away and you're not going to know what to do with yourself and it may send you over the edge. Because they want what you know you want. My left ear is ringing. They want what you want. They have the same feelings. They want, they have that, their door to romancing you is the same one that's opening up for that. Spirit wants you to open up for them because their love for you is pure and true. So just keep that in mind as you go through this day. Somebody loves you. Somebody wants you. Somebody wants to hold you and cuddle you and lay in bed and, and do anime and chill or Netflix and chill or whatever it is that you want to do. They want to do that with you too. They want to sit down and enjoy a pizza and watch a game together and they want to go and watch movies and play video games and go to arcades and shoot pool and maybe go rollerblading or whatever else it is that you enjoy doing, playing basketball. They may love all this stuff too or just encourage you to go do it yourself. But you two would want, or like two peas in a pod, you don't want to be separated. You just want to absorb in each other's love and that's why spirit saying is that your love languages are pretty much the same perfect you understand each other and it's effortless the way he looks at you and the way you're like oh, my hero <laughs> oh my angel my baby my love yeah that's like she's in bliss that's how i see this is he the way he looks at her he, she's like yes just look at me like um, Gomez looks at Morticia and just devour me in your love. Yes, like that's that's the kind of energy I'm feeling here. That's the kind of passionate these two have. Like they tango, yeah, they'd be all tango and lovey and cute and romantic and spicy and all of the beautifulness. I think all the good romance stories, yeah, that's these two. There, this is the love. This is the kind of love that stories are written about, for sure. So if you want your happily ever after and your forever fairy tale, you may want to open the door to this, uh, be open to this romantic um, offer that's coming with the spirit opening this door for you. This door of romance is he's literally handing you your divine spiritual blessing in the shape of a female lover. That will be all that you need in this world to get you through all of the ups, downs, ins and outs effortlessly and happily because you are with the person that gets you and the two of you like I said are two peas in a pod y'all know what each other wants when they want it how they want it when they need it how they need it all the things because of that tantric connection so keep that in mind as things progress because I feel like somebody is thinking about somebody or starting to recognize patterns in somebody something there's something happening between two people that are opening somebody's eyes to how they truly feel about them so keep that in mind and uh, that's all i got for this one thank you holy spirit thank you angels ancestors loved ones and spirit guides for helping me through this pick three um i close this reading okay guys um I'm just, yeah, this is a beautiful reading, like love is in the air and somebody's starting to uh, recognize some, um, some behaviors in somebody that's attractive. So keep that in mind and just remember that, uh, you know, going through this day, going through this life to be open to possibilities from people that may be a little bit different than what you're used to. So give something new a try. Till next time, Gigi loves you. Bye for now.